and then he jumped into this beast and well look here's the video just look at his reaction and look how quick this bloody thing is What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel again. My name is Shane and welcome to another episode on 5 Star Cars, the car channel where I give my thoughts and opinions on what's going on in the supercar community. Um, because living in Ireland, don't really have any options to supercars here, especially where I live. And uh, yeah, hopefully you, you like this kind of stuff. On today's episode, we're going to be covering uh, a few big uh, people, some big news at like Wow, TJ Hunt, um, or um, Supercars in London, and a few others like that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, guys, I would love if you want to be the legend and actually hit the subscribe button. Every uh, subscriber we get, guys, helps the channel get bigger. The bigger we get here, the more content I can give you, uh, you know, I do want to do a project car for the channel. I might modify my my 1.4 VW Golf for next summer. Maybe, maybe not. Might get an MR2. I don't know. It's up to you guys, uh, you know, what you want me to do. Also, another quick question as well is, I want to start buying new hats, obviously. And I want to start buying hats uh, from some of your biggest car uh, YouTubers out there. So uh, if you wouldn't mind suggesting below what hat you think I should get next. Uh, so DD, Goon Squad, TJ Hunt. Let me know in the comments below. I'll go and buy the hat. I want to get different ones as I'm doing this instead of my old boring one. I do need to get a five stars uh, hat as well. Um, but look, this one is, guys. I, I mean, I want to make this entertaining for you as I can. But I'm a small channel and every, any revenue I make off it, which is zero at the moment, uh, you know, as we get bigger, you know, I, I will show you the first paycheck of the channel when we get it. Uh, but that could be a long while. But as I said, I'm going to be posting every day, I'd say, because I, as you can see, I'm a tiny, teeny, teeny bit sick and I am quarantining for two weeks. So I have all the time in the world to be posting. So you're going to get a lot more of this content and hopefully you will enjoy it. So let's jump into today's video and crack on with it, shall we? So first on the list is Carwow. He has, after getting exclusive, the first reporter to ever go in the new um, Bugatti Chiron Sport, the 300 plus. Uh, and yeah, he basically have to go and do an accelerations in it. Uh, I remember him saying the first car he was in was like a, uh, a Telsa S, I think it was. Uh, it was like the quickest acceleration he's been in. And then he jumped into this beast. And well, look, here's the video. Just look at his reaction and look how quick this bloody thing is. <laughs> so that was one kilometer covered then just like that and he was actually backing off towards the top so what do you think guys it's absolutely nuts i mean i can only imagine the g even a bit of g-force and that you'd be stuck to the chair uh the car is insane and uh, you know it's just honestly, i think is it not this i think it's not the 16 2.6 correct me if i'm wrong in the comments below i'm just guessing uh but wow what what a machine what an absolute machine some of the stats by it as well like they say uh is pretty impressive just the way it's designed the way the wheel pressure the wheels the tires have to work because of the amount of uh, pressure that's been put on them uh what what an awesome machine 3.5 million dollars they're making 30 of them and they're all sold. So even if you are rich and you have $3.5 million, you won't be getting one because they're gone. Uh, imagine having that money. Oh, and I am playing the Euro Millions tonight because if I win 140 million, I wouldn't even be able to buy one. So it doesn't matter, but I will get something close enough. Maybe Pagani Hawaii or Bugera. That'd be sweet. Uh, yeah, great, great way just to see what uh, Matt from Caro did. and. Uh, you know, a lot of a great video, a lot of fun. Love watching them doing their drag races. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've seen the episode and what you thought of the speed of it. Next on our list, guys, is TJ Hunt. Love covering this guy. He's like one of my favorite car YouTubers out there. He's got new wheels for the Audi R8, the crash when he's building back up. Uh, and I must say, guys, I fell in love with these as soon as he brought them out. Your HREs, absolutely just. The most perfect looking wheel on the R8. It's like a, bra a gold bronze kind of a color. Uh, it would look perfectly with the white. Now, if it's going to keep it white, I'm not too sure. Um, issue with the OD, 
whatever that is on the tires is wrong so he has to go and get new tires and, and maybe downsize one of the wheels I, I, i'm not too sure mickey was talking to him i can't remember what exactly the issue was but when he put them on i must say pff, well, absolutely perfect though like such a sweet wheel to have on the car uh again like tj hunt's one of my favorite car modifiers he just knows how to modify a car um and just the way he puts in the thought and, and he really knows his stuff as well and uh, these wheels would suit the or like if i was going to get a set of wheels hands down these would probably be the set i would buy uh but yeah great great pick by tj hunt fell in love with them once he uh, showed them uh so i want to know about you guys in the comments below what you think of the wheels for the orient would be something you would pick or is there a different set of wheels you would pick um yeah i'm interested to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments below next on our list who we're going to cover next we're going to cover supercars of london um Yes, so the reason covers, covering Supercars of London because his most recent video came out about his $50,000 paint restoration on his Murcia Lago, uh, which, by the way, came out, at, I mean, talk about perfection. Like The car is probably better than came off of the, the actual uh, the actual production line. Uh, I mean, it's... Yeah, I'm just going to show you a quick clip of it here because I'm speechless at how well this turned out. Well, I'm, I'm not because of the amount of money you spent, but here you go. Oh my God. I'm watching this on the screen as it's flicked around, but to see the car revealed in that way, firstly, is, it's ridiculous. I'm almost lost for words. Just the gloss finish on the flat black paint job is I cannot believe it. I cannot believe how good this car looks. And it is now officially. So yeah, guys, what do you think? Was it worth the $50,000 you should have spent on the paint restoration? The, there's one thing I, I'm i not getting with this whole thing uh, with Supercars of London. He's saying he's going to sell a car. I, I, unless he's going to be making a, a, a 10, maybe $20,000 profit on the car when he's selling it, Okay, I, I, but I don't get it. If he owns a car and it's his dream car, we all know Mercer Lagos are going to go up in price anyway. I can't remember if his is a manual or not. But in saying that, like, I just don't get why would you sell it. Why put in so much work and effort into it and then just go to sell on unless you're getting a ridiculous offer anyway? Um, even people in the comments below are, are, are screaming at him going like, what are you doing? I, I feel like his channel is a bit all over the place. Um, he's in, it seems like he goes into deals with all these companies. Uh, he's never fully invested in his own money, I don't think, all the time. And it's not just him pulling the strings behind the scenes and getting to make decisions. I think because he's swapping a lot of cars. I, I don't know. I would never sell that Mercedes. Lagos. My dream car as well. I definitely wouldn't sell it after putting all that work into it. it makes no sense. I think it's a stupid decision. Uh, and I hope he reverts his decision, but I, I, a lot of people are getting annoyed with him because um, he just, it's like you don't know what he wants on the channel. He seems to be going all over the place and you want just a direction of like, what are you doing? Like, what cars are you definitely getting? What ones do you own? What ones you don't? It's just a big mismatch of everything. And it's very annoying. And you'd think he'd have more views for the amount of followers he has, but it seems to his views has dropped because He's just, I don't know, he just doesn't know what he wants to do and it's getting, it's pissing off his, his subscribers. Like, so hopefully he doesn't sell it, but if he does, it'll be interesting when he gets next. But all I can say is the paint job is definitely top notch, well, you know, probably worth the money if you had it, if, you know, as you're saying. Uh, who is next on the list? We're going to cover um, Paradox the Rapper. So if you're into rapping, this will be for you. This guy, I remember watch, started watching, he was just over 30,000 subs. He's now nearly at 70,000. He's been killing it. I mean, he has his own line of rap as well. Um, I, I'm really, really tempted. I'm getting bored on the weekends and I really want to start doing stuff on the weekends. I'm very, I'm thinking a lot about getting a bit of rap and starting to have a rap myself. Um, he, the colors he has is outstanding and they're really, really nice. Uh, so he's done two raps. I, I'm just playing catch up with the videos at the moment, but he has done two raps to two cars. One in a G35 Finney and the other one was a 
Hyundai Genesis uh, 2 liter turbo. Um, so the first one will come up here, because uh, I don't want to get copyrighted guys from using stuff. So I'm hoping these, none of these videos I put up, uh, I get copyrighted. So uh, yeah, this first one came up here. Uh, it's a like a, a, a flip gold kind of silvery gold color. I absolutely love it. I mean, it's so, so nice. Uh, I would love to have this on a car. Definitely the color up there I would choose uh, if I was to wrap a car. He did some amount of work in it. Uh, he had issues with the bumper, the polyurethane poly bumper. It wouldn't stick properly. He used a bit of glue. The guy is very good at what he does. And I mean, the car came out amazing. Uh, the second car he did was the Genesis. Uh, again, this is only, I really like this video. It was a kid with his dad, uh, his into modified cars. And he wrapped it like a, a pearl kind of, I think it was a pinky blue kind of through the, the white pearl. Again, carbon fiber hood and, and he has a carbon fiber trunk. Uh, again, lovely color. Uh, father was really impressed at how wraps work and, and it was a really interesting video of a lot of fun and it came out brilliant like so I, I'm really enjoying the wrap colors he's been doing. He has some amazing wrap colors. He has the Stradman uh, satin chrome purple there which I'm very, very tempted to get and, and trying to wrap a car myself. I'd probably make an absolute balls of it, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, look, it, it's it, guys, all of the links in the description below to check out these videos. Let me know what you think of the wraps below or the colors you would go for and you watch this channel. It'll be interesting to hear you uh, from me. Last on our list is RDBLA. If you watch my other videos, I've been falling in love with these guys since I figured them out, found them last month. They do some of the sickest modifications, some of the hottest supercars out there in the States. Um, and again, no exception in this one. Uh, it basically, he's just covered putting in BBS rims on a Lamborghini, which I've never seen done before, with a polished lip. And I must say, this thing is... Whew, it's ridiculously, I was so shocked at how well it came out. And these guys just know how to mod a car. If I ever won the lottery or came rich, Stradman rich in, in, in cars, these are the kind of guys I would be getting to modify my car because they know hands down, no VTEC uh, suspension, um, you know, all the, the bells and whistles, you know exactly how to do stances on cars. Check this Lamborghini Aventador out because it is pretty, pretty tasty. <laughs> guys what do you think is it a yes or no for me let me know in the comments below do you like the rims on it i love polished lips it suits it down to the ground i'm not the biggest fan of the multi-spoke bbs rims but i will admit this looks pretty sick on the aventador wouldn't say no um but or dbla kill it as always so you know what can you say i mean i absolutely love it and it sounds sick as well so yeah that's pretty much it for today guys again get commenting below hope you watch the end of the video and hope you kind of enjoy this kind of stuff and you'll subscribe and like and all and everything so i hope you support the channel and i will have another video tomorrow because what else am i going to be doing so until then thank you very much for watching to the end stay safe peace out and bye